afternoon everybody so today the plan is to go down to the train station um, mum is having her nails done at the minute um, so she's going to text me when she's done um, and then she's going to come home and we're going to go in my van because otherwise we'd have to pay two lots of parking which seems a bit daft um, so yeah we need to go and buy our tickets <laughs> to you know, get there. We're only going on the, the journey. Weirdly, the journey varies. Like, it's the same journey, there's no stops, but it alternates. So it'll be six minutes, and then 10 minutes, and then six minutes, and then 10 minutes on the way there. And then on the way home, it's six minutes and seven minutes. I don't really understand why it takes a different length of time to do the same journey, but it does. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so when we, depending on which train we get, um, we're, we've potentially got like a three minute gap to change platforms or half an hour wait and stay on the same platform. It just depends which train we get on. Um, I expect we'll end up on the train that gives us half an hour. But what can you do? Sure, we'll find something to do for half an hour in the train station. But yeah, so that's today's plan. Um, let's let's go. I'll see you there. Push, push the button. Push it. Good boy. made it to the next station. It went pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. Considering we tried to get him on the bus once, it didn't go well. He was terrified of it, but trains are fine. Good boy. Somehow, trains are fine. You did a nice little tuck, didn't you? He did a nice little tuck today, but he's got his gobby head on for some reason. So everything needs commenting on. Absolutely everything. And it's peeing it down. Pouring somewhere to children. Yeah, and isn't there all right? And here's some children. Is that train going? No, not at the minute. We saw that train at our last station. It came in before our train did. And it's only just got here. But yeah. Good boy. I did think he was going to lick the lady's elbow that was sitting in front of us at one point because there's like a gap between the chair and the wall and I could see her elbow but he didn't, we managed not to do that but it was very interesting, he kept trying to look under the seats to see what she was doing Oh we need to walk that way
shouldn't be that side. Oh yeah. successful outing um Rory was a, a little bit vocal um today he is a relatively vocal dog generally but when he's tired or just in a funny mood he will vocalize a bit more and that's why he's still not doing non-pet friendly public access and things um but we did some training yesterday that was quite hard for him so i think he just needed, he could have done with perhaps today off or not doing that yesterday. So we'll redo our journey in a few weeks time and hopefully he'll be quiet <laughs> during it. Not that he, he didn't like make a big um, scene or anything. Um, it was just that I noticed it rather than other people. But he was fine on the train as you can see. I mean he was, he, he certainly wasn't any more stressed than I expected him to be and he settled really well and he didn't have an issue getting on the train. Um, we tried to get him on the bus once and it was just awful, he would he was terrified of it. So I think if we can get a decent journey on a train, we can build it up, I might try the bus again. I know, like the only time I get the bus is when I go to Crufts. You can get the bus from the disabled parking down to the hall. But we walked this year and it's really not that far. So I think if I was gonna have Rory with me anyway, I'd want to walk him so that he'd got the opportunity to go on the grass and go to the toilet. And that's the only time I use the bus. I never use the bus because I can drive. And if I can't drive, my mum can drive. And if my mum can't drive, my friend Megan's on my insurance so she can drive. So, you know, it's not the end of the world if we... Obviously, I'd like him to be comfortable on it because you never know. It's not the end of the world if we don't get the bus. But yeah. So I'd call that a success, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you did please give it a thumbs up and we will see you next week, bye!